Assalamu alaikum. Ever wondered what communism is all about? In need of clarify of its historical background? Well, today we are going to be talking about communism. Before we go any further, it is best to clarify the clear line differences between communism and socialism. Both of these political systems come from Karl Marx's ideology and his work on the Communist Manifesto, 1848. Both systems also predominantly specify on the equality of the people in terms of gaining monetary profit and to eliminate exploitative class systems. Both socialism and communism fight for the ban on exploitation of the lower class proletariat that is profitable to the middle and upper class bourgeoisie. Thought so, socialism is more of a socio-economic system that allows the people to have equal share on the profit gained by the government and also properties and land. And that no class has to be oppressed into doing excessive work for the profit of others. On the other hand, communism focuses on only granting the people just enough money to get by and doing just enough work. This is because communists believe that there should not be any ownership of anything at all. While some countries like Cuba, the Soviet Union and China have been said to practice their own take on communism, political scientists believe that their versions of communism is more leaning towards socialism. In the modern world, however, even China is becoming more and more capitalist in nature. So, how did Karl Marx come about with this sort of ideology? If we study his background, he was born in 1818 in Trieste, Germany, and was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth, and for most of his life, he was not blessed with good fortune. A lot of the time, especially in between getting aside from his own homeland, Prussia, and moving from country to country, Paris, London, he lived in poverty. But was often saved by his companion Friedrich Engels. whose parents were rich owners of cotton spinning factories. And so part of the reason he came about to such conclusion may have been affected by his background. During his time, the growth of capitalism is immense, and the capitalists were increasingly dependent on machineries, and have been dehumanizing the factories to create a more consistent and continuous production line. This is to increase efficiently to gain maximum profit. As manpower requires rest and is bound to make mistakes and inconsistencies in production, many were being sacked and this left the lower classes to be largely unemployed. Karl Marx believes that sooner or later there will be a union of workers going against the upper and middle classes in revolt for severe inequality in living conditions. The problem with Marx and his ideology Marxism is that none of his work are scientific or empirical in nature. 
His books and studies were mainly studies on the society through his eyes and the work of other great philosophers like Immanuel Kant 1724 until 1804 and GWF Hegel 1770 until 1831. For this reason, it is agreed that the real and poor communism is, in reality, difficult to be implemented in any country and because it is merely theoretical, it cannot be proven to happen in the real world and therefore is not verifiable. Besides that, Marx also believes that any form of revolution will see through years and years of civil war and international conflicts before being ready for any political changes. He also claims that the only time effective revolution can occur is when it takes place between two or more countries or else it will be never happen. We hope that this explanation helped you understand a little more about the theory of communism and how it's come about. Have a great day.